Global Labor Market Challenges and Prospects. It's again, I would say, rather an introductory session uh, to the topic of international HRM to uh, give you some general understanding. Who are we talking about? Yeah? What is the global talent pool? What are the characteristics? What are the challenges? And what does that mean for multinational enterprises? And what does that also then mean for human resource management of multinational enterprises? Some of the main or overarching uh, questions we would like to address, and you or I would like you to make understand, would be first, understand the characteristics of the global uh, labor force. How does it differ and particularly relevant to multinational enterprises? Yeah. Multinational companies operate in different countries. How can they utilize, how can they leverage yeah, the available uh, talent pool? And then particularly also looking at the challenges and opportunities because there are many options available to multinational enterprises. How to make best use of it yeah, from the perspective of an organization. I've structured today's uh, session into the following five points, or four points, I would say. First, some general basic trends uh, about the global labor market, changes in labor force uh, demographics and migration. And then specifically, we look into international migration. I think that's a very important topic in general, uh, in particular also for Germany and many other developed, developing uh, nations, and also for multinational enterprises. And then we talk also about the contingent workforce. Yeah, that's also has been a trend for the past 10, 20 years. Also very relevant for a multinationally operating organization. And then we talk about offshoring and outsourcing. And then we will conclude today's session. And I think that will also lay the foundation to understand who is working in multinational enterprises, why uh, do a multinational enterprise or even domestic organization engage uh, in this global talent uh, management, uh, why that is all relevant and also necessary today. To conclude today's lecture, there are a couple of key takeaways. First, human capital, so people, are the most important source of competitive advantage. Uh, so global war of talent will intensify. Today we talked about the characteristics of global talent or some aspects of it. Because of that, collecting and processing information about the talent pool around the world is vital for MEs. Yeah, how to position, how to source, where to locate, and so forth. And then m and &E should then consider developing a portfolio of strategic offshore options and potential sources of sustainable competitive advantages yeah, in order to attract, retain, and cultivate a global uh, human talent. Global HR or global HR strategies then need to be tightly integrated with business strategy. And that we will also discuss in our next sessions.